Hello and welcome. If you have watched my introductory video, you will know that I am a woman on a mission. Now today I just wanted to take up a few minutes of your time to just introduce myself properly. My name is Lucy and I am from a beautiful place in the UK called Bournemouth. I don't live in Bournemouth anymore, I haven't lived there for the last 11 or 12 years. Um, however, I'm very, I love my home, I'm very, very proud of where I come from. So, a little bit about me, I have been on one huge journey. Um, like most people, I was born into a beautiful, loving family, um, I've got an older sister, and I just had this huge lust for life when I was born. My mum tells everybody, oh Lucy, she was always you're destined to be a leader always destined to be a leader and she would tell people these tales of me like running out of school, my primary school and like climbing over the fence and running home because I was just like checked out from school you know um, and I was a cheeky little thing and I always used to say to my mum, mum I'm going to change the world, you watch me, mum I'm going to change the world and you know as most mums, yes yes dear, of course dear, yes of course um, but something was ignited in me as a child I really, really saw that there was so much more to this life than actually what met the eye. Um, school bored me, I wanna be really honest. I loved my friends, I loved doing PE. I had an amazing PE teacher um, when I was much younger called Mr. Simpson and I just loved him and I loved um, everything that he stood for and he just you know, gave me the vibrancy to get through my younger years at school. But after that, it was a bit of an inconvenience and I wanna be really honest with you. However, like most children, you know, I got to about 10 years of age and because I had to do this thing called the 11 plus um, and it was an exam to get into grammar school, I kind of got, you know, so engrossed in getting good results. I got so engrossed in um, certain, you know, you have to do certain things, you have to get yourself a good job that I lost that lust for life. It literally just left me and I'm sure many of you around the world can resonate with that. Now the beautiful thing about my journey is, yes, I went on to have a, a massively successful career. I worked um, in investment banking for 15 years of my life, um, working on the trading floor as a project manager, delivering huge technology projects, which was amazing. Um, however, it did nearly kill me. In 2014, I physically burnt out. Honestly, looking back, the signs were all there. From my early 20s, I had been diagnosed with chronic digestive issues. I had something called Helicobacter pylori, which ended up going into stomach ulcers, um, and I ended up having chronic IBS. On top of that, I suffered severe hormone issues, um, and I had three operations on my womb to remove um, tumours that had been growing. I also was diagnosed with an underactive thyroid. Um, I was also diagnosed with many other things uh, over the years and I also suffered extremely badly recurring like tonsillitis, laryngitis, bronchitis, things like that. So it is no surprise at 35 years of age, bearing in mind I didn't do anything about any of these things. Yes, I would go to the doctors and I would take the pills and I would have the tests done and I would have the operations and I would do all of that stuff, the stuff that we were shown that we needed to do. Um, you know, I did all of that, but I didn't really change anything else. I thought that the lifestyle that I was leading with was healthy. I thought that I was eating foods that were okay. I thought that I was, you know, although I, I was, wasn't in love with my career, I just thought, well, you know, you've got to earn money. You've got to earn money. And I was attached to this. You've got to earn money. Until, like I say, when I burnt out. Now, I remember the day as if it was yesterday. I walked into the office and, you know, some of my best friends that are still my best friends today, it was like nails down a blackboard. And I was like, I need to get away from these people. I, like, I just need to get away from these people. And I sat there at my desk and I wrote my letter of resignation and I walked it into my boss and I slid it over the desk. Now, in the months preceding, I had been um, caught up in quite a toxic situation with an ex-partner. And it was really quite fascinating that obviously there was an impact of that on, on my decision and my health um, being stripped from me. However, everybody was blaming that situation apart from me. 
I knew that my body had just had enough. I knew that it was time to just awaken, you know, and now I look back and I'm like, oh my goodness, thank, thankfully that that happened. It was such a blessing in disguise. So I went from a huge six figure salary, um, you know, living the life on paper, which looked perfection to most people, you know, I had a beautiful home, beautiful cars, um, holidays like five times a year. I had plenty of money to do what I want. I was always dressed beautifully, had the nice handbags and shoes and had all this stuff, but I was grossly unhappy. I was extremely, extremely unhappy. And, you know, everybody thought I was having a breakdown because my life, they deemed it to be perfect. However, for many years, I hadn't felt connected to my life. In fact, I'd felt completely disconnected. I'd been opting for toxicity in my life, not unknowingly, like I hadn't been doing it consciously because I was on a self-sabotage mission. So I took 14 months out of the office um, uh, because I was a director, I had to give three months notice and that three months notice was awful by the way. Um, one day I'd be like, yes, I'm doing the right thing. The next day I'd be like, oh my God, what am I gonna do for money? What if nobody can ever you know, employ me again? The human brain is so freaking powerful. Um, and I learned that through this journey. So I took 14 months out of the office and it was the best thing that I ever did with my life because it saved my life. I got connected to my passion, I got connected to my purpose, I got connected to me as a human being. Like I'd never even thought about the food that I was putting in my body. I'd never thought or comprehended the fact that my body was communicating with me by giving me all of these signs and all of these symptoms. I didn't realize how disconnected I'd got from my passions and my, you know, the, the, the fact that I loved food as much as I did, the fact that I loved exercise as much as I did. And trust me, working on the trading floor, you cannot go to the gym easily. You cannot go and good, like make good food easily. You know, you have to grab stuff and it's always very, very quick and on the go. So that 14 months off really gave me a huge, a huge lease of life and a new perspective a totally new perspective. And that's what I'm gonna be sharing with you on this channel. So I did go back to the trading floor for two years. Um, in October 2015, I went back to the scene of the crime and I um, just started working there as a project manager again on the trading floor. And what happened whilst I was there, I was requalifying as a nutritionist. Um, I was doing my health um, coaching certification as well because I knew that I wanted to get out. I'd made the decision, but I knew that I needed to go back and earn money so that I could get out and create the business that I, that I dreamt of. In that first year, I was complacent. I got used to earning the money again. I got comfortable, as we all do. Let's not judge each other, as we all do. And then in November 2016, my best friend tragically was killed. It was at that moment where I almost got my second slap around the face from the universe. Stop being complacent. It is time for you to up your game. Now, I'm not gonna say I didn't mourn my friend. Like for two months, literally, I was a mess. But in January 2017, I made a decision, right, it stops. By the end of 2017, I am out of corporate. I need to get my head down, my bum up, and I need to focus so hard that I can get out of this job and I can survive without the money. And that's what I did. I went to work. I started coaching people at my work. So I was doing like two things. I would coach people in lunchtime. I would coach people after, after work. Um, I would run seminars during the lunch times in our meeting rooms to encourage people health and explain about lifestyle choice. And I really got connected to me. I lost a significant amount of weight. I started releasing all of my emotional trauma because I was actually studying behavioral um, patterns as well. What I was looking at is how the human body stores trauma and then creates disease because that is what I had done. So I was working on my own emotional trauma and I was helping other people, I was helping people with their health and with their nutrition because obviously that's what I was qualifying as at that time. Where this journey has led me is to a huge awakening, a huge awakening of faith in myself, of connection to my divine heart space, of a new level of consciousness I never knew existed. I have such a level of awareness now of 
if like my right wrist hurts, I'm like, okay, I know what I need to release with that. If my left hip hurts, oh, okay, right, I know what's going on with that. I've become so super connected to my human body that I have been able to heal every ounce of disease that was in my body. Every ounce of disease. Now, this channel is about showing you how I have gone on that conscious journey, how I have been able to self-heal everything, things that they told me I wouldn't be able to heal. I remember the last time um, I was due to have an operation on my womb to remove the tumours, I basically disappeared out of the country because I, I knew that I could heal myself. I came back. Um, and the hospital wouldn't scan me, so I had to go private. And when I went back to the doctor and said, look, I told you, like, my womb is clear, he told me I was a miracle. Now, I don't believe that for one second. I truly believe, as human beings, we have more power and more capabilities than we have ever, ever, ever been shown or ever will be shown. So this is what this channel is about. Yes, it's about getting in front of a million people, taking them out of their headspace and into their heart space. Because this journey for me, since removing myself from living in my head, oh, I need money, oh, I can't do that, oh, you know, I need to do this because that's what society says, oh, I must be in this relationship, oh, I, you know, all of those things that we, we get told that we have to do. As soon as I gave up on all of that thought process and I stepped into my heart and I thought, right, what is correct? My life has catastrophically changed. And I want to show you how to do that too. Yes, I'm going to show you how to create conscious business. Yes, I am going to show you how to self-heal. Yes, I am going to take you on such a huge journey over the coming years, over the, however long this YouTube channel is out there, but I'm also going to get you so connected to yourself. Now, I'm not saying you have to go on a spiritual journey. My journey has been particularly spiritual, but what I'm here to do is to show you that having a level of faith in yourself is going to change your life. Now, I have so many stories that I could share with you, and I will do over the course of the time. Um, I just really wanted to introduce you a little bit to me as to why I feel that I can stand here legitimately and speak in front of you. I have gone from being a director of an investment bank, earning a huge six-figure salary, to creating three of my own brands, one of them called Self Love Club, and you know, I literally help people step out of their headspace into their heart space and transform their life by connecting to their inner knowing, their intuition, and unlocking all of the gifts, getting connected to their passions, their purpose, and their future. So if this is something that you want to be listening to, please press the subscribe button. Please do, because you will get access to all of the new content as and when it gets released. I am so looking forward to going on this journey with you guys. Like My passion is just unbelievable for this subject. Please know, no matter what is going on in your life right now, you can heal and I'm going to show you how.